Hi everybody, this is Nicole with 20 Something Planner. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I do decorative planning videos and sticker hauls. If that is something you are interested in, I would love for you to subscribe. Today I am doing a memory spread for the week of May 3rd and I'm using this really beautiful Jackson Pepper kit. Um, I had snapshots of the kit, which I shared from a haul a little while back. I accidentally deleted the footage off of my camera of me going through the sticker sheets of the um, kit. So I just included those so you can kind of get an idea for the kit that I was using. I had such a good time planning this spread. For whatever reason, everything just came really easy to me using this kit. Sometimes I struggle with like laying down stickers and layering and getting the spacing right, but I don't know if it was the kit or I was just in like a groove the day that I chose to use this kit and plan, but I really love the way everything came together with this spread. Um, you have to excuse me, I am battling a upper sinus infection right now. Um, I was going to hold off to do this voiceover until I was all cleared up, but I'm actually on a filming roll right now and I want to get this uploaded so I can make space on my computer for two more videos. Um, one in which I have planned and one that I have time to film this weekend. So um, you'll have to excuse me. I apologize. I sound like uh, garbage. I feel like garbage. I'm in no like mood to do this voiceover. But like I said, I just wanted to get this up. My head feels like it's a thousand pounds and filled with cement. Um, okay. I laid down the base of the kit. The only thing that I pulled in outside of the kit, those uh, lace dividers that I pulled into the dividers in the sidebar, those are from Sadie Stickers. I got that order uh, in the mail as I was in the middle of filming this, so I added those on kind of like after the fact. Um, and then the upper left-hand corner, I marked the month with a May script sticker from Alyssa's Craft Shop. I will link her down below. I have a coupon code with her shop. I do do PR for her shop. I love her monthly script stickers as well as her lace doilies. Um, and then the vines that I put around the month are from a honey inked sampler that I got from a recent order. And then I believe the date dots are from Sticky Sloth Designs. Uh, okay, so moving on into the day to day, I have been making it a point to like sit down and weekly plan my week. <laughs> um, I have a plum paper planner that I use to do my like everyday planning with. And usually I'll sit down at the beginning of the day and plan out my day, but I've been taking the time and filling out the entire week. Things I know that are going to happen, things that I want to happen because I'm very much a person that needs to write it down or else it'll never get done. So I marked that with a notched box from Sadie Stickers and then that pen bundle is from Crafts by Towie. And I pull, I've been pulling in a lot of these foiled leafy accents from Honey Inked and I just layered that with a like a greenery piece from the deco kit that came or that I ordered along with this kit. The Jackson Pepper deco sheets are very large and I don't mean, yes, they're a full sheet, but the deco itself is actually very large. And I was a little nervous going into this because I was worried I wasn't going to have enough floral to work with for the whole week. And I was nervous about just pulling in the larger pieces on their own. But I was able to really easily cut everything up and make it work. And actually, I think that's part of the reason why I enjoyed filming the spread so much because pulling in the florals was so easy. Rather than working with the smaller pieces, I was able to trim up a bunch of ends and pull them in and kind of use them as borders. And I just think everything looked so beautiful because of the florals. Um, okay. I kind of blew through Monday, but if you have any questions about the stickers that I use, just let me know. I marked a edit that I had to submit for this magazine that we advertise in for my job on Tuesday. So I used I used a lot of um, white deer stationery icons because they just matched so perfectly with this kit. I'm just switching out the flag that I used because I I wanted to pull in a little bit more floral. Um, 
being that I used a piece of greenery and the second thing that I marked and then that vine is just cut up from Honey Inked. Those lace boxes that I used, I pulled one in, um, I used a half scallop one on Monday. That is from Crafts by Towie. She has a lace uh, doily or just like a lace sampler sheet and I absolutely love using them. I used them in a previous spread. She had these like half headers that I pulled in and I used the rest of the sheet up in this kit. I tried to pull in one of those stickers every day of the week. So I marked a call for blood work this day. That cell phone icon that I pulled in earlier is from White Deer Stationery as well. I also used a lot of the foiled bordered boxes from my newest addiction and anytime I used them I tried to layer a piece of washi behind it just so I had like a florally border. I did some meal prepping this week. Oh no, you know what I did? I switched from HelloFresh to Home Chef recently and I chose like the next month of meals that were going to be delivered to my house and I just used a whisk sticker from Miss and Meow to mark that. I also had my second COVID vaccine shot on this day. I pulled in a bowstring box from the Give It Girl. I layered some florals behind it and then that stethoscope sticker is from White Deer Stationery and then I pulled in a couple of accents that bow is from Sadie stickers and that flourish is from sweet Bella XOXO who is not open at the moment I hope she opens soon I love her kits I love her fancy boxes I'm running low on those flourishes I'm gonna need to restock but um yeah I hope she's well though because she hasn't posted in a while um, okay, so moving on to Wednesday, I pulled in another one of those notched boxes from Sadie Stickers. I just cut up some florals from the kit. I stopped for Starbucks on my way to work this morning. They just opened a Starbucks very close to my house, and I knew that once I found out what it was, and it's a drive through I knew it was going to be dangerous once it opened because it's so easy to go on my way to work. Um... So I pulled in some florals from the kit, and that coffee cup sticker is from Crafts by Towie. I marked that I just made a shopping list for myself. I had to run to Target after work, so I wanted to make sure I didn't forget anything. That list sticker, I pull those in all the time. They're some of my favorite stickers. It's from Magic Prince Co., and that little piece of greenery is from the kit. That... Um, like half scallop sticker that I pulled in. I cut that in half. That is from Honey Inked. I just thought that was a nice little decorative piece to add and it went well with the kind of theme of the spread. Um, I used a Crafts by Towie shopping cart to mark my Target trip and then I also marked that I booked a spray tan for my wedding. I booked it for the Friday before my wedding. I actually found this company um, through a New Jersey Bride Facebook group. Uh, this girl comes to your house and sets up like this dome where you can get sprayed at home so I scheduled an appointment the Friday before like I said and I had her come to my house and all my bridesmaids were there and we got spray tanned it was such a cool experience and the tan came out so so good but I used a little like suntan lotion bottle from paper blush bar and then I just pulled in a candle sticker from Miss and Meow to mark a relaxing night. I wasn't feeling well from my shot. After the COVID vaccine, I had no symptoms, but I had a severe headache for four days after my, both shots. Um, it was it was really horrible. It hurt so bad. But I'm lucky enough that that was the only side effect that I experienced from the vaccine. Um, okay, on Thursday, Marvin left for his bachelor party. <laughs> Marvin actually had his second COVID shot and then left for his bachelor party, but I didn't have room to mark all that. He got sick the middle of the night, like Thursday into Friday. Luckily, he wasn't ill like during the daytime and got to enjoy a lot of his bachelor party. I swear he has the worst luck. I could tell you stories, but everything turned out okay. He just, um, him and a couple of his friends had got a house in the Poconos and they golfed a bunch and did all whatever they do. <laughs> but, um, to mark that he left for his bachelor party, I used another lace half mandala from Crafts by Towie. 
Oh, I'm going to jump down here really quickly. Because there was a weekly box on the full box page, my brain thought that there were nine full boxes. So I cut a full box up to use florals from because I was scared of running out and it ended up being a box I needed. Luckily, there was a flag from the kit that matched the bottom of that box that I cut up perfectly and you can't even tell. I... I had a heart attack when I saw what I did and realized I needed that box, but it ended up working out fine. I'm pulling in another bowstring box here from The Giving Girl and layering some florals behind it because Marvin was gone. Usually Marvin walks Tucker every day because I'm scared he'll pull me down. Tucker's very strong um, if I take him for a walk alone, but I played like an intense round of ball with him in the backyard to try and get some energy out of him. That bone is from a Hello Petite Paper pet sampler sheet. Here I am marking a meeting that I had scheduled at work. I used one of her half boxes and just layered that behind a foiled border box from my newest addiction. That calendar sticker is from White Deer Stationery and the bow accent is from Sadie Stickers. That blue just like, it looks like it was made for this kit. I can't get over how well it matched this kit. Um, I marked a... I don't know, some sort of banking thing that I had to do. Uh, that stack of money is from, I want to say, Simply Watercolor Co. sampler sheet. And then because this box was so white spacey, I layered this like quarter box from Cross by Towie, like over almost half of it, just so it wasn't looking so dead spacey in that area. Um, that cell phone icon, again, is from White Deer Stationery. I use that to mark a call with my friend. And then I, sometimes when Marvin leaves, I will go stay at my mom's house. I don't like to be alone in my house. I don't like to be alone, period. <laughs> I, don't get me wrong, I love my alone time. But, like, at night, I just, I'm not for it. I would rather someone be there with me. So, I went to my mom's house for dinner, and I stayed there. I always bring Tucker. Tucker loves to run around in her backyard. My mom loves to see Tucker. So, it worked out. Um, that little swoosh sticker is from a Bloom Paper Studio sheet. And then at the bottom, that paint swatch sticker is from Miss and Meow. I made a huge Etsy and Amazon order for wedding decor. Huge order. Um, that E sticker that you saw at the bottom was from Magic Prince Co. again. And then here I'm marking, I had to run a few errands at places that were near my mom's house. So I left Tucker at her house that, it's pretty much like a big washi strip, but those are the Jackson Pepper half boxes. I pulled that in and I'm just bordering the bottom with some florals from the kit. I stopped for coffee at one of my favorite local coffee spots. I used a Starbucks sticker from Crafts by Towie to market, but it wasn't Starbucks. <laughs> and then I just pulled in a garland from Sadie Stickers. I cut one in half and used it kind of as like a double swoop garland here. And then next I am marking a post office run. My bridal shower was the week before this and unfortunately I was just having a really bad time planning that week. I finished it out. It's posted on my Instagram but the actual plan with me video was such a hot mess I couldn't post it. So if you are wondering what that spread turned out to look like, you can go to my Instagram. I'll link it down below. But I spent some of the morning writing out thank you cards from my mom's house and I mailed a bunch out on this day. That um, mailbox sticker is from White Deer Stationery and the floral foiled accent is from Honey Inked. Here I am just cutting up some florals to lay over top a foiled ordered box from my newest addiction and the collar that I'm going to be pulling in is from Harry Art Designs. I took my dog for a walk around my mom's house. I have a much better time walking around my mom's house because she lives in such a quiet quiet neighborhood and there's not as many people or dogs around where I am there is like a public park so there's constantly people there's constantly dogs and rabbits and squirrels and things he wants to chase after so I just feel a lot more comfortable walking him around my mom's development because usually I can get away without seeing anybody and he's 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 good when there's not a lot of like stimulus around. Um, 
And then at the bottom, I started binge watching Cruel Summer this night. I didn't finish it just because I heard it got very repetitive, but the first four episodes were good. Let me know if you watched it. Um, I did spoil the ending. I watched like a whole series recap on YouTube, but that television sticker is from Planning World. Sunday morning, I got up and I did a Trader Joe's run. Trader Joe's is not very close to me, so the only time that I'll go is if I get up really early and plan to head out first thing in the morning so I can get back and continue with my day. When I got home to put away the groceries, I just... I meal prepped a very simple... I've been obsessed with white bean Greek salads... It's all I've been eating for work. They're so good, but I marked meal planning with a little pot from Miss and Meow and another Crafts by Towie Half Mandala lace box. And then later on in the morning, I went to my mom's house. We just did like a Mother's Day brunch. I pulled in a Mother's Day script sticker before that was from um, Arctic Box Stickers, who unfortunately is no longer open. But my mom's sister and I kind of celebrated Mother's Day with dinner that Friday. So we just did a quiet brunch at home. And with COVID, it was kind of like hard to get a reservation and everything. So we just did something simple. And then when I got home, I took a bath and then Marvin came home. So it was kind of just like a quiet, relaxing evening. That bathtub sticker is from my newest addiction. And I'm just going in now and adding a couple of additional accents. I kind of forgot to include some of the shorter garlands on the second half of the week, so I just sprinkled some around the spread, and then um, there were a couple of dot clusters that I had from a honey inked sampler that I wanted to pull in. Um, and then here is just an overview of the spread. I'm absolutely in love with it. This is my second time using a Jackson Pepper kit, and it was just such a pleasure to work with. I really, really had a good time using this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the spread. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will chat with you all in my next plan with me. Bye, everybody.